What's the going on everybody? We're at the range here today with a brand new interesting piece of hardware to have a look at. Yes, this is going to be an unboxing and demonstration video. Check this out folks. The all new Osloff single shot tube fed 12 gauge shotgun. All right, what do we got here anyway? What is this animal? This folks is a modern reproduction of the 1920s Osloff. Uh, basically, this was a design to convert a single shot shotgun into a repeating firearm. Back in the 20s, I guess it was more economical to convert single shots instead of buying a whole new pump action, I suppose. Um, really neat, uh, just the way this works. So this is the reloading mechanism. Otherwise, it's just your typical single shot with an ejector. All right. So. How this works, how this works is, well, let me demonstrate. We have this tube magazine running alongside the barrel. Two, three, four, holds five rounds. Right, hand load that. You can put five in this magazine. You take one, you shove it up here, push up on this little lever on the top, and this sits right there. Okay, one in the chamber. Now, I'm not gonna actually fire it, I'm just gonna demonstrate how this reloads. So, I close it up. There's one in the chamber. There's one in the carrier. There's five in the magazine. What's going to happen is the round in the chamber is going to eject. It's going to hit this trip lever and it's going to cause this loader to flip over and push its new round in. Check this out. Okay. New round is shoved in. As we close it, pushes the loader back to zero and automatically reloads the, the loader from the tube. Okay. I fire. Cracker open. Another one. Really neat. All right, let's just unload this thing. Oops, that one missed the trip lever. So what it does, the ejecting shell hits this, which loads the chamber. Last round. Empty. It's an empty gun. What an incredible design, and it's modern uh, reproduction. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm more surprised about the gentleman who first invented this or the company who has decided to sell the reproduction. What, a, what an interesting collecting piece. All right, let's load it up, and then we'll try to do some firing. Again, to load, first grab on this, pull it over here out of the way. We take our rounds, load them up. One, two, three, four, and five in the tube. One shoved up here in the loader. Move the loader over up in line with the tube. One in the chamber. Now, before we got started with the video, we were test firing this, and we noticed that sometimes the, the um, ejecting shell didn't trip the lever like it's supposed to. My guess is because the sh these shells are very light, and this probably will work better with a heavier shell. This is very low brass, so if we had higher brass, it would have more weight, and it would be enough to trip the lever. So I might have to manually trip it over. Not a huge problem. Uh, yeah. We'll hope for the best. All right, here we go. Yep, missed the trip. It didn't miss the trip lever. It just wasn't heavy enough. So there we go. Yep, not heavy enough. Come on, let's trip this thing. Nope. Was working sometimes before the video. Let's see, 
if we can't get one in there. Nope. Need heavier rounds. There we go. <laughs> See that? Flipped over automatically. Closing it up moves this back in line with the tube. Got one more round. Boom. Yep. Automatically flipped on the last one there too. It is empty. And she is unloaded. Check out the little mark it makes here on the side of the receiver. That little mark is from where this rides along the receiver to push back into place. Really neat piece of hardware. Again, pull on back on the lever. You can have it sit there to load. Load your one round. Hold your rounds. Let this sit back in that little, little dimple there. Okay, then when it ejects, it pushes on here. There's a spring in here that loads your new shell. And you close her up, pushes the loader out of the way, she's loaded. You know what, let's just load her up one more time. See if uh, we can't get this to work a little bit better. It does come with an owner's manual, as well as several chokes. It is threaded for chokes, so what a, what a neat firearm for hunting as well. All right, there's five more in the tube. One in the loader. Loader in front of tube. One in chamber, so that's five plus one plus one. I think that means it's seven, doesn't it? If I got my math right. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. And we're clear. Yep, really neat piece of hardware all around. Folks, just that one little issue of the shells not being heavy enough to trip the lever, but I, uh, I'd say that's an ammo issue. I wouldn't wouldn't fault the gun at all for that. Wow, folks, the all new Sulin Arms Osloff 12 gauge, a single shot tube fed magazine available here in Canada. Wow, what an incredible piece of hardware. Guys, this is a blast from the past but new production. Thanks for watching. God bless Canada.